Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about force diagrams or free body diagrams. This will be the third quarter topic and learning competency number 3. This lesson is under the Batatag The objectives by the end of the lesson 80% of the learners will be able to first is to define the term force diagram or free body diagram the second one is to demonstrate the proper technique for constructing a force diagram or free body diagram using appropriate tools and measurement and the third one is to appreciate the importance of force diagram or free body diagrams in understanding the behavior of the objects and predicting their motion by answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the teacher will ask the following question. Vocabulary, the students will answer the match type activity. In developing and deepening of understanding, so we must introduce first what is force diagram and free body diagrams. So force diagrams and free body diagrams are visual tools used to represent the forces acting on an object. It helps us to understand the contribution and the effects of individual forces on the object's motion or state of equilibrium. Force diagrams show all the forces acting on an object, while free body diagrams isolate the object and focus on the external forces. By constructing and analyzing these diagrams, we can identify the different types of forces, example, the normal force, friction, tension acting on an object. Another one is to determine the net force acting on an object. And the last one is to predict the object's motion or state of equilibrium based on the forces. What is a force diagram? So a force diagram is a visual representation of the forces acting on an object. So force diagrams are used to depict the forces acting on an object. So they show the magnitude and direction of each force acting on the object. In a force diagram, each force is represented by an arrow where... The length of the arrow represents the magnitude of the force and the direction of the arrow, it indicates the direction of the force. A free body diagram is a special type of force diagram that isolates an object and shows all the external forces acting on it. So free body diagrams, it focus on a specific object, isolating it from its surroundings. By understanding the forces acting on an object through a free diagram, we can determine the net force acting on the object. The second one is to predict the object's acceleration or whether it is equilibrium. And the last one is to analyze the object's behavior and make informed decisions about its motion. 
the following are the step-by-step -step process for constructing a force diagram or the free body diagram. For the first stage, you need to identify the object of interest and isolate it. So focus on the specific object you want to analyze and isolate the object from its surroundings. The second one is to identify all the forces acting on the object. So determine the different types of forces acting on an object such as normal force, friction, tension, and gravitational force or the weight. The third step is to identify all the forces acting on an object. So determine the different types of the forces acting on the object such as normal force, friction, tension, and gravitational force. For the fourth step, so label each force with its appropriate name. For example, the normal force, tension, and friction. So clearly label each force using the appropriate terminology. For the last step, so ensure the diagram accurately represents the relative magnitudes and directions of the forces. So double check that the force diagram or free body diagram accurately reflects the given scenario and adjust the lens and direction of the force arrows as needed to maintain the correct propositions and orientations.